describing Lynette Trinkle as a free spirit. She lived to live for the moment. She couldn't she, sit still. She yeah. couldn't stay home. She had to be running around all the time with her friend. Her mother and brother are now reeling from Trinkle's death when police say the 18-year-old early Sunday morning on the 35th Street Viaduct fell from her friend's speeding Jeep as Trinkle rode in the windowsill. Her friends at a growing memorial Monday wonder if the driver will be held liable and say Trinkle died the life of the party. Do you wish she hadn't done that? Um, I can, a part of me says that, but like I she was just being her, so. She did it all the time, like. She did do that all the time? Yeah, she's, that's just her. That's how she lived her life. She was party animal. Riding in car windows is a phenomenon often seen throughout Milwaukee. Just last week, our news crews saw this group downtown. But on Sunday, Trinkle lost her balance. According to a medical examiner's report, the intoxicated teen in the passenger seat of a full Jeep of friends pulled herself up onto the windowsill when she saw another car of friends pass them riding the same way. Milwaukee police say when she fell, Trinkle rolled under the Jeep's rear tire. Investigators found her 73 feet from where she first fell out. What would I want to tell her? Well, she's, she's free now. <laughs> think. You got to think. I know that I've had a lot of fun, you know, but you got to know where there's a limit. Caroline joins us now live. Caroline, you mentioned the driver. Is that person facing any consequences? Well, police say that the driver is cooperating, though they haven't said anything about any potential charges, though I checked, and according to Wisconsin law, drivers are fully liable for damages if their passengers are injured during a single vehicle accident. That 35th Street Viaduct is right behind us here, Patrick.